Hi, in this session, we will be learning about the K-nearest neighbor, KNN, clustering algorithm. The KNN algorithm is a popular and straightforward method used in machine learning for clustering or grouping data points based on their similarity. Imagine you have a bunch of data points that represent different things, like houses. Each house has certain features, such as the number of bedrooms, the size of the yard, and the distance to the nearest school. Now, let's say you want to group these houses based on their similarities. The KNN algorithm works by comparing each house to its neighboring houses. It looks at the features of a house and finds the K closest neighbors based on some distance metric, like Euclidean distance. The value of K represents the number of neighbors to consider. Once the K nearest neighbors are identified, the algorithm assigns the house to the cluster that the majority of its neighbors belong to. In other words, if most of the nearby houses have similar features, the algorithm assumes that the house being considered should also belong to that particular cluster. By repeating this process for all houses, the KNN algorithm clusters the data points into groups based on their similarities. The algorithm doesn't require any assumptions about the underlying data distribution and can handle both numerical and categorical features. It's important to note that the KNN algorithm is called a lazy learner because it doesn't learn from the data during the training phase. Instead, it uses the entire dataset during the prediction phase to determine the neighbors and assign clusters. In summary, the K-nearest neighbor clustering algorithm is a simple and intuitive approach for grouping data points based on their similarity. By comparing each point to its K-nearest neighbors, the algorithm assigns data points to clusters based on the majority of neighbors. It's a flexible and widely used technique in machine learning and data analysis. In this code, we are using a machine learning algorithm called K-nearest neighbors, KNN, to build a model for classification tasks. First, we import a special tool called KNeighbors Classifier from a library called Scikit-learn. This tool helps us implement the KNN algorithm easily. Next, we create a new instance of the KNeighbors Classifier called KNN underscore model. We specify that we want to consider three nearest neighbors when making predictions. This means that when we want to classify a new data point, we will look at the labels of the three closest data points in our training data. Now, we're ready to train our model. We use the fit function, which takes two inputs, enc underscore all, the encoded features of our training data, and y underscore train, the corresponding labels or classes for each data point. The model learns from this training data by analyzing the features and their associated labels. During the training process, the KNN algorithm looks at the patterns and relationships between the features and their corresponding labels. It learns to recognize certain patterns in the data that can help it make accurate predictions. Once the training is complete, our KNN underscore model is ready to make predictions on new, unseen data. It uses the information it learned during training to classify or label new data points based on their similarity to the training examples. In simple terms, this code creates a KNN model, trains it using some labeled data, and then we can use it to predict the labels of new, unseen data points. It's like having a machine that learns from examples and can tell you which category or class a new data point belongs to based on similar examples it has seen before.